per usual, I'm talking about things a little bit late here on the channel. Um, honestly, I was having some issues with StreamYard all week. I don't know if it was the website. It was me. <laughs> I got no idea, but I was uh, unable to record the last several days, which was a little bit frustrating. But I still want to talk about the Mackenzie Mitchell thing. We all know at this point that she was released unexpectedly from NXT. And, you know, of course, right away, people are going to get on social media and, you know, come back to TNA. Do I see this happening? Not really. I, I would like it to. I like her a lot. I met her once in person. Very, very nice. Uh, they brought her on, I, I believe, when we kicked off on Pop TV, right? I don't believe she did any Destination America stuff. I don't recall her doing that. And much like Gia Miller, she sounded like a robot for about six or seven months. Uh, wasn't uh, wasn't natural at all. And really, really improved over, you know, and, and with in the company, with her time in the company, really, really improved. I actually watched... NXT 2.0 when it kicked off out of curiosity and I actually really liked it for two or three episodes and then I realized I actually didn't like it that it was like watching glow but I saw Mackenzie do her backstage work and I thought she sounded really good I mean much better than she was in TNA it just showed me she has grown and grown and grown uh, to where she's just like really natural sounding and and great and she's always looked like a million bucks on screen uh, but do I see her coming back? I, I don't. Um, I would love for her to come and be the ring announcer. I don't think doing backstage work, interview work, I, I just don't see it. Uh, but I would love her as the ring announcer. I've been you know, very open about my thoughts that it's just time to replace Dave Penzer. Um, I think doing it with a female would be a, a very good idea. And I, you know, I don't think they're going that direction. They've had... Um, Gosh, I forgot her 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 name. Brian Cage's wife, uh, Melissa Santos. They've had her come in. Um, you know, Christy Hemi. They they've come in and done work, and it's temporary. And they stick with their guy. You know, um, and Mackenzie Mitchell is a pretty decent ring announcer. Actually, she did some NXT stuff uh, for the house shows. She did the Impact versus Lucha Underground show, which I will never speak of again on this channel. Uh, she did. She did one episode of Impact when it, that horrible storyline was going on with Jeremy Borash and Josh Matthews, and uh, he he took Jeremy Borash out of the, some, something happened. I don't remember, but she had to do the rest of the show. And so she does a pretty good job with that kind of stuff. Um, but I, I just don't really see her returning to the scene of the crime, and I don't mean to offend anyone who's a a diehard fan, but I think it would be a little bit beneath her at this point to return back to TNA. I mean, this is someone who has worked with, you know, the SEC network, Fox sports West. Um, you know, when you, when you do the NXT stuff and you're on, I think they're on USA, right? I could be wrong on that. At that point, you kind of make a lateral move. I don't mean go over to AEW. What the hell is she going to do there? But I would imagine she'd prefer to work on a big network in the sports world, and, you know. And, and if they want to throw some part-time dollars her way, and hey, come and come and do this, you know, may, maybe she would. But I would think at this stage in her career, she would have to probably have a bigger role backstage, uh, u utilizing some of her other knowledge and talents. Um, you know, this is someone who graduated from uh, Ole Miss, I believe. You know, it's not just someone who stumbled into what she does you know this is someone with with an education background with some good experience and i'm sure she appreciates her time with tna but i don't see a return happening um again if they want to throw some part-time dollars her way and okay you want to do some ring announcing once a month you know hey maybe she would but um you know making a part uh, excuse me a full-time living off wrestling uh, the last several years i it's hard to imagine her coming back and doing some part-time stuff when she's probably, uh, you know, again, padded her resume enough. Her She's more of a recognizable name and face at this point. And, you know, she could probably do some other things outside of wrestling. And to my knowledge, I don't think she was a wrestling fan before doing TNA. I know when she got hired by NXT, she tweeted, oh, this is my dream job to work for WWE and da-da-da-da. But 
I'm I'm fairly certain when they hired her for TNA that she knew nothing about wrestling. So maybe she's just become a wrestling fan. I don't know. But I think that deep down, she probably wants to go do something else. So, of course, as fans, we would welcome her back. And maybe we'll catch her down the line at some um, conventions or things like that. Maybe she'll be backstage at some shows here going forward. But it's hard to see a return for me because I think sky's the limit of what she can like truly, truly do with her future. And at this point, I don't think she has to uh, rest on her laurels and, you know, stay in the professional wrestling industry and especially do so for a smaller company. But would we welcome, welcome her back? Absolutely.